Hey, howdy and a big welcome back to Yak City Gaming, everybody. As once more, today we're going to pick up the Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode. And yes, this is a post-mortem episode of the 2016 season. We lost four games to two in the ALCS to the Houston Astros. Just could not mount the comeback we needed to in the last episode. I mean, where are we going to put the blame? I'm going to put it squarely on our leadoff man, Kevin Plar. I should have changed him out, gotten someone better in there. But I didn't, and that may have doomed us. I mean, the rest of the lineup, you see here the middle of the order. They're really the top six, two to seven, just absolutely crushed it. I don't know how you could argue with these six guys all over 333. And then the bottom not doing it too hot, but, you know, enough to get the job done. Michael Saunders really didn't have a strong postseason, but he only had nine at-bats. So that becomes the question, what do you guys want to see change to the lineup? The big question is going to be, can we sign both Joey Bats and Edwin Encarnacion? And to what kind of contracts? I mean, we could go one-year deals with both of them, 10 or 16.5 mil. If we don't get them, they get a draft pick back. So I, I think we could still see uh, definitely double E back. I'm not too sure about Joey Bats. I, I have a bad feeling about him, and I mean, we have some good outfielders we can bring up and uh, get ready to play. So Aaron Sanchez, Marco Estrada... Marcus Stroman, Hinjin Ryu, and Cliff Lee hopefully will be retired at the end of this year. So he'll be off the books and gone. I mean, the bullpen, I'm not going to blame them at all. I mean, Gavin Floyd, we obviously need to improve upon. But the rest of the bullpen is perfectly fine by me. Drew Storen, wow, we're 30.380 or 8. Guy got blown up. Brett Cecil did all right. And I mean, of course, Roberto Osuna is back at the end of the pen next year. So, really, it's two que three questions. What do we do in right field? What do we do in relief pitching? We need to add one more guy. And then what do we do at starter? You guys know when they're free agents that come up in 2016. you got to tell me who do you want to see, hopefully, on the team. And you know what? We can make some trades as well. We've got some very stud prospects down there in double A and triple A so we can we can make a move if we need to so it's not like we're absolutely hurting on the rookies I mean not as good as we could be we've got Ricky Rudy honestly if we need to move him he's a 21 68 overall potential guy could be absolutely dynamite next year in our pen even he could replace Cliff Floyd next year that would be too simple how about that and then you've got Edgar Arnelius, who is coming up, he could be uh, not our backup catcher next year, or he could be. Who knows? He could come up halfway through the season. That remains to be seen. Not really anyone to talk about in uh, terms of first base yet. Rory Jensen would be your guy who comes up and plays Justin Smoke's role next year, so we can let Smoke go next year, hopefully, and have Rory Jensen on the bench. Other than that, Ryan Goins, uh, we'll have to make a decision between Barney and Goins. I think Goins sticks around and Barney goes. That's just my thoughts right there. Third base, we need to find a prospect to take over for Jodo after he's gone. And then you've got nobody at shortstop except Chris Armis. And Armis, of course, should progress uh, to a bench player in two years from now. You've got Joseph Buchanan over there in left field who should progress to about a 62-63 to start next year, which would be a rather good start for him. And then center fielder Daryl Cicilline, he's going to do nothing for us. But it's Dalton Pompey. How much can he grow this season and see if he can become an everyday uh, outfield utility guy for us and take over for Dominic Brown? And, of course, you know Johnny Urban, hopefully the guy who will step in for Jose Bautista at the end of next year and take over for Dominic Brown. So, guys, there are our options. I hope you guys have some ideas for me. As always, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If not, leave a like, and I will catch you guys in the uh, next one.
Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to this edition of Yak City Gaming. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out these playlists to my right. I've got some awesome videos for you to browse through. And if not, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.